Hello, good day to everyone and warmest greetings to all my WVS friends. This is Yilmaz Esmer from Istanbul, Turkey, an old veteran of the World Values Surveys. When I say an old veteran, I suppose just a little bit of personal history would be all right uh, to explain this adjective why I consider myself an old veteran. It was exactly three decades ago in 1990. I was a Fulbright Scholar at the Institute for Social Research uh, of the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. I was spending the year working with the late and great Leslie Kish Graham Kelton and Stephen Herringer uh, in the sampling division, sampling center of the ISR. And as luck would have it, our founder, Ron Inglehart, was, and of course still is, a faculty member there at the uh, ISR. That's how I met Ron, and upon his invitation, joined the WVS. So along with 42 other countries, we ran the first Turkish WVS in 1990, 30 years ago. I'm proud to say that since then, I never missed a single wave. Yes, Turkey was indeed a part of all rounds of data collection in the last three decades. And for some years, I proudly served as an executive committee member of this great organization. It would take forever to even mention some of the things I have learned from our surveys. But I guess most important of all, I have learned that culture matters. Culture matters indeed. Thus, the subtitle of the book I wrote on the 2012 Turkish survey was Cultural Limits to Change. I was trying to emphasize that, yes, we may want change, but we have to consider the cultural limits to it. There's, I would like to mention one single finding to illustrate this point. Here's a question from our surveys, uh, intermittently asked since 1990. Uh, it is a 10 point scale and at one end of the scale, we have private ownership of business and industry should be increased. And the other end says government ownership of business and industry should be increased. In 1990, the, in Turkey, that is, the arithmetic mean for the standpoint scale was 6.0. In 2018, the mean was 6.1, almost exactly the same. There are so many of examples of this. To reword what Inglehart wrote many years ago, cultural orientations are not immutable, but they happen to be damn durable. Let us all enjoy our latest data treasure. And once again, greetings to everybody from Istanbul.